What is up? It's your boy going here coming at y'all with another reaction. We're gonna hop into episode number six of volume three of Ruby. And uh yeah, let's get it. Episode number six. Uh starting the period. No surprise that they've chosen you to move on to the final round of the tournament. Performance has been exemplary. Thank you, Professor Ozpin, but I would never have made it this far without my teammates. Personally, I think it's the other way around. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't believe we've been introduced. Name's Crow. Crow is a trusted colleague of mine. Professor, if you don't mind me asking, why have you called me here? Please, take a seat. What is your favorite fairy tale? I'm sorry. Mm. Fairy tales, stories from your childhood, surely. It'd be funny if that was all he was. She brought her. He brought her here to ask her about. Well, That'd be funny. There's the tale of the two brothers, the shallow sea, the girl in the tower. What about the story of the seasons? Oh, of course. A callous old man who refuses to leave his home is visited by four traveling sisters. The first understands his reclusive nature and urges him to use his time in solitude to reflect and meditate. The second brings him fruits and flowers, tending to his crops and revitalizing his gardens. The third warms the man's heart, convincing him to step outside and embrace the world around him. Hmm. And the fourth and final sister begs him to look at all that he has and be thankful. In return for their kindness, the man grants the maidens incredible power so that they may continue to help others all over the world. Hmm. They graciously accept and promise to share their gifts with the people of Remnant until the end of days. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. The hmm. four maidens. My mother loved that story. Would you believe me if I told you that one's been around since I was a boy? <laughs> You're not that old, Professor. Well, would you believe me if I told you it was true? Of course it's true. <laughs> I beg your pardon? What if I were to tell you that there were four maidens existing in this world that could wield such tremendous power without dust? Without dust? Uh-oh. You mean like a semblance? Like magic. I... Yeah, first time here and it's pretty crazy. Hmm. You're serious. Do I look like I'm joking? No. Why? Why are you telling me this? We are telling you, Pira Nikos, because we believe that you are next in line to receive the Fall Maiden's powers. Oh, shit. We? Okay. Ah, oh, shit. They do too? Sorry we're late. Wait. What is this? Who are you? You know who we are. We're still the same teachers and headmasters you met when you arrived at Beacon. Except we've got a little part-time job. We are the protectors of this world, and we need your help. Oh, shit. Man, she like she don't really want to get involved in all this. Where are we going? The vault. Under the vault. Ah oh, shit. This shit about to be OD as hell, ain't it? I'm sure you must have questions. Maybe one or two. I still don't understand. You said I was next in line to receive the Maiden's power. What do you mean by that? The Maidens have existed for thousands of years. But much like in nature, 
The seasons change. No two summers are alike. Hmm. When a maiden dies, her power leaves her body and seeks out a new host, ensuring that the seasons are never lost and that no individual can hold on to the power forever. So, how does the power choose? Through a series of stupid and convoluted rules. Crow. Hmm. Don't get mad because I'm right. At first, the only thing that was certain was that the powers were specifically passed on to young women. But as time went on, it was discovered that the selection process was much more intimate. Intimate? Yeah. As we understand it now, when a maiden dies, the one who is in her final thoughts is the first candidate to inherit her power. Really? Unless it's a dude. Unless it's a dude. Oh, shit. Why tell me all of this now? Why not wait until I've graduated? Honestly? We've run out of time. I don't know if you've noticed, but things are getting a lot scarier out in the world. Tensions are high. Grim are growing stronger, more prevalent. And it's not going to be much longer before this peace we've all been enjoying so much goes out the window. You're not talking about war. Not a war between nations. We can fill you in on the details once we know you're with us. For now, all you need to know is that one of the maidens was attacked. And for the first time in history, Part of her power was stolen. Damn. Let me find out Cinder has something to do with that. Is that the current fall maiden? Amber. Fall. She's still alive. For now. We're using I feel like Cinder definitely did something to her, didn't she? But there is a lot about this situation that is unprecedented. What do you mean? Well, we don't know what will happen if, when she passes. Won't her power just transfer to the next host? Look who's been listening. It might just go Jeez. to whoever stole it. Under normal circumstances, yes. But this is a delicate situation. It's not uncommon for the last thoughts of the slain to be of their attacker. And to make matters worse, no one's ever seen the power split like this before. For all we know, it will seek out its other half. Her assailant. And that would not. I feel like it's well definitely Cinder, isn't it? If all of this is true, why keep it secret? If this girl is so important, if, if we're truly on the brink of war, why not tell everyone? From what we understand, it used to be common knowledge. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. I don't think legends and fairy tales get started. Even the craziest ones come from somewhere. Our group was founded in order to protect both mankind and the maidens. Those hungry for power hunted them with the hope of inheriting their strength. So keeping it a secret yeah, probably made it easier. The ones that succeeded weren't exactly the kind of people you'd want to have unimaginable power. And so this brotherhood chose to remove the maidens from the public eye, allowing their existence to fade away in the legend. The things we're telling you go against hundreds of years of human history. Religion. No one would want to believe us. It'd cause an uproar. It would cause panic. And we all know what that would bring clawing to our kingdom's walls. Mm. Which is why we would like to... I'll do it. If you believe this will help humanity, then I will become your fall maiden. All right. She's all on board. That's what you wanted, isn't it? It is. But I'm afraid it's not that simple. Ah oh, shit. Given Amber's condition, you won't be able to inherit her power naturally. However, General Ironwood believes he has a solution. Ah oh, shit. I don't know about this. More scientific how it works, what it's made of, how it can be used. We've made significant strides, and we believe we found a way to capture it. Yeah, I don't like this. Cram it into something else. I don't like this. Or in your case. That's Classified. wrong. Huh. 
Classified. <laughs> oh, shit. Times call for desperate measures. And these are indeed desperate times. We can't transfer Amber's power to you, but we can give you what those powers are bound to. Her aura. Her life would become intertwined with yours. The question is, what's that gonna do to you? Damn. You have an important decision before you, Miss Nikos. There's no guarantee this transfer will work. And there's no telling if you will be the same person if it does. I advise you to take time to think on this matter. Mm -mm -mm. But understand that before the vital festival is over, we will need your answer. The assailant that attacked the Fall Maiden has made oh, that's a good move. image. Mm -mm -mm. There's no telling when their next move will be. Yeah, I knew it was fucking Cinder for sure. God damn. One on one finals. Barty, I feel like Pyrrha gonna end up losing because she got all that shit on her mind Instead now. Instead of a bracket system, each round of the finals will be randomly determined immediately before the match takes place. Much like any good hunt, there will be zero time to prepare. Ah, yes, yes. Now let's see who our first match will be. Pyrrha in the first fight. Against Mercury or something. Probably gonna be like that, right? Huh? Fuck. I was almost right. God damn it. I was close. I think Yang's gonna win this. I think Mercury's gonna throw this one. Going on the lights for this one. They say it's getting serious now. You better not go easy on me. <laughs> you wish. Three, two, one, fight! Okay. I don't know. Now it seems like Mercury actually might be trying now. Damn. Damn. I don't know, man. Ooh. Okay. She got a couple of good hits in. This is nice. Bruh. Really? Bruh, okay. That's nice. Aw, oh, damn. Bruh. Okay, Mercury got a nice. But it's definitely not over yet, though. She did, she said scrumptious. Aw, oh, fuck. She went Super Saiyan on him. Uh oh. You're dead. Oh shit. Oh damn. Bro. Oh, you're done. You're done. It's a wrap. God damn. She had to bust out Super Saiyan on him. Mm mm mm. Yang Hit that man with the fucking combos. Better luck next time. There's not going to be a next time, Blondie. Nani? Oh shit! <laughs> my word! She just snap his shit? Oh my god! 
I mean, that's what his ass get. Although, I feel like that had to have been done on purpose. No way that man actually just got upset and it's got his shit snapped. Because if that's the case, that's kind of funny. Uh, my leg. My leg. That's what you get, you little... Huh? Yang Xiao Long, stand down. Why they pulling up on her? This dude just tried to... Bruh. What? Why? Mercury. Why'd she do that? Why'd she attack me? Well, but you... Nah, y'all not really gonna do this, right? Oh, shit. Bruh. What is this man's ability? This man has, like, some type of genjutsu or something. Bruh. That ability is ridiculous. So we saw something like that in, the, in a couple episodes ago where she saw her partner, but it wasn't really him. Bruh. So I'm guessing this is Mercury's ability. That shit is OD as hell. Or maybe it's... I don't know. I don't know who's actually making that shit. But that shit's OD as hell. They really set Yang up like that. This some bullshit. God damn. I don't know what's gonna happen in the next episode. Anywho. If y'all enjoyed the reaction, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.